Hello, I'm here to show you this very complex water displacement and planning boat hull design. With this special shape, energy savings has been deliberately designed to increase with hull size. If I was to build me boat 36 foot, the water resistance is around about the same as the 26 foot me boat design. This special shape allows hull mass to increase without increasing water resistance, almost defying physics. The design can be built to 140 meters using my trade secret formula. This energy saving design was visioned at seven years of age and has taken me a lifetime of experience in and out of boats and many years to further develop this self-regulating hull design to safely reach speeds easily over 100 miles per hour. She stops hull pounding on the bow. By deliberately lowering the width of the bow's contact area to the wave, simply lowers removing the power of the wave by lowering water volume that the hull needs to displace to move forward through the water. Using evolution, a 200 kilo weight combined with the fish shape of the smaller center V easily breaks through the wave's water volume. By using the V shape and splitting that wave in half and directing allowing flow to continue lowers the power of the wave again and then using the round shape of the ocean waves to start to lower the bow right from first contact. This removes hull pounding. The center V weighted centrally controls the much higher outside flat surfaces that do not need to move water volume. As water moves and contact passes under the hull, the upward pressure forces the bow to stay within that controlled working regulated area. The bottom of the hull design is shaped to naturally lean back with forward movement. This always keeps the bow higher, creating a self-regulating design with a higher bow. The hull is designed to go over waves head on or traveling in the same direction as the waves. The hull shape stands up straighter to angle over the waves without adverse reaction. The hull shape allows load to be better controlled with a quicker shorter hull movement side to side or bow to stern for quicker reaction to recovery with less water resistance when carrying a load on acceleration. Side on to a wave, the hull is weighted and shaped with the outside higher flat surfaces controlled centrally by that much lower weighted smaller center V. With the much steeper angles of the V to match the wave's angles allows more control and lowers the sideway leaning and movement. She is designed to be the opposite shape of the wave to simply slide up or down the wave face for self standing in every direction on rough water. Thank you for watching. Information is written below, and you can see more posts and videos, including my new double finned hydrofoil at onemeboatfacebook.com and YouTube channel pdjong1000youtube.com. You can email me at www.peter dot a dot de jong d e j o n g at hotmail dot com thank you very much for watching have a great day bye so you can see the unit in the water there's plenty of water around it that's the so you can see how the units work and how it's all attached to the engine Much better turning ability in reverse or forward. I'm absolutely wrapped that I've got this on my boat. I'm sure you will be too. There's no adverse reaction whatsoever at high speed, all those speeds.